Hello, my hi-fi brethren. If you are my subscriber, I thank you for coming back to my channel. And if you are a new viewer, welcome. I'm going to start today's video by asking you a question about relationship. But don't worry, I'm going to talk about this Kev R3 matter. And the video title is not a clip it, okay? But I will ask you this question first. Do you have a friend, a co-worker, or someone that you know that uh, whether directly or indirectly, they will say something that is offending or they ask something that's very sensitive, um, totally without considering the other party's feeling or the sensitivity of the question, right? And then after they say that, right, they will justify themselves, right? Uh, I mean, they say, say something that actually hurts you or offended you or offended someone that you care about. And then they still have the cheek to say that, hey, hope you don't mind, you know, I'm a, I'm a very straightforward person, that's my character. But the same person, if you do the same thing to them, they will never walk out of the rubber of the collapsed world of their collapsed emotional world, right? I think you know what I'm talking about. So let's name this person Tom. Then there's another person called Jerry. Jerry is also someone that is very honest you know, about his opinion and will tell you what he feels, but he is very good at articulating his word in his sentence and he's very sensitive. Um, although he's honest, he wants to tell you what he feels about you, but he knows how to choose his word carefully and he actually uh, put the importance of how you feel first, right? And then um, maybe for the one honest thing they say about you, but they'll tell you another 10 things that's very nice about you, all right? And for Jerry, you will even want to go back to him, you know, to seek maybe constructive advice. Maybe you will say that, oh, uh, the other time you told me about me uh, easily losing my temper, but now I think I'm better. So is there any way that you, you think that I can uh, improve myself? Right, for the first one, the Tom, I think it's someone that you wish that you will never exist again. Uh, how they cease to exist is up to your imagination, right? <laughs> All right. So um, how is this question related to this Kev R3 Mela? I would say that this Kev R3 Mela is like Jerry. Very honest speaker, right? Uh, or in high fight term, we call it neutral. But I would like to call it very honest. When you fit it with something that is uh, bright sounding, all right, the recording that is bright sounding, um, then it will sound bright and you will have the sparkle. But if you feel something that is a warm recording, right, like some of the vocals and those audio file recording, right, then it will sound very really warm. But whether it's warm or bright, right, it's very, very clear. Um, the clarity is, so far of all the speakers that I own, although I don't own a lot of high-end speakers, I, I started from, uh, this is my fourth pair of KF speaker, KF speaker. So the, other, the latest one before this was the KF, uh, the RS50 Meta, right? Um, I like that speaker, I sold it away because of the bass, it just didn't produce enough bass. Um, and then um, for this KF, let, let me, I would say that this is, uh, by the way, this is not a professional review, right? I'm sharing with you as a consumer, as a purchaser of this speaker that I use my own money to buy it. Um, how I feel about this speaker and how it benefits me. I'm not going to talk about the features, the specs, right? Um, I just want to let you know how the, how the, uh, the design of the speaker, how the sound benefits me as a consumer, right? I'm just a layman consumer, all right? Not, not expert. So, um, but this is a, a really difficult speaker to talk about. Um, in my in my previous speaker, um, the the Triangle Brio Three, it was rather a straightforward speaker. I would say that uh, it is a very very sparkly sounding, um, sound very sparkling. Then it's not bright, right? There's some warm to it. But for this speaker, it is at the same time it's warm. It is uh, it has some sparkles, right? And sometimes it can sound a little bit a little bit bright, right? That's to my liking and uh, I think it will not be offending to anyone. And the bass sometimes is light, sometimes it's like, it sounds like the bass is like a floor standing. Okay, um, so I'm gonna go into the detail by breaking down. First of all, let me talk about the strength of the speaker, right? Um, this pair of R3 Meta, the strength of the speaker, I will tell you the, uh, the first place, right? Undeniable. Um, even if you were to listen it, uh, 
go to a shop recently or maybe you own one or uh, by the way if you own one please share your experience uh, comment right so I, I won't know what I miss out and or you have a friend that owns one then and, and you can go to his house to listen I think the first thing after maybe 10 minutes of listening you will agree that the strength of this speaker is actually the sound stage um, the sound stage is wide and deep but I think it's deeper than it's wide right, but how wide? let me explain how wide if you look at this uh, speaker, this is the one of the four speakers of this uh, Sony home theater system the, I think it's a HTA9 speaker right? I think it's HTA9 so the Sony speaker has a front firing driver and the upward firing driver for the Dolby Atmos uh, surround sound and it uses very very clever algorithm using software to give you an impression of a very immersive 360 surround sound and it does it really really well okay but for this CAF right um, the sound field, the sound stage is so deep right um, it's something that um, imagine that there's a it's a musical or audio black hole that there's no end to it um, for the Sony, you feel like you're surrounded by music but for the CAF, it's like it costs you want to actually reach out to the music to go deeper and deeper um, sorry, I'm not very good in my English, right? I'm not so well educated too um, but I'm using what I can express myself best, right? Um, when I listen to the, the music, um, I'm going to show you some of the CDs that I listen to first um, You know, it's very important that you know uh, someone talking about the hi-fi, how you feel about hi-fi You need to know his musical taste For example, let's say I'm a bass head, then I say that oh, this speaker, the space are too light then the speaker may not be bass like just like because for me I'm so crazy about bass I can use two subwoofer I still feel that the bass is so light alright so for me I, I like to listen to this kind of CD this is the 1950s to 60s um, it's a Singapore singer I know you guys don't know because it's, Chinese, it's a Singapore uh, singing Chinese song and, um, and during the time uh, Singapore was not so advanced right so our recording studio not so advanced but I can tell you with this speaker no problem right so the other one is a this is a Taiwanese singer she's actually passed on but she's very famous in the, in the Chinese music industry and for this CD all right this is a very special CD set <laughs> all right I have problem removing it oh anyway this is a remastered CD and uh, there's a lot of label like hi-fi uh, uh, analog analog quality things like okay okay these are the cds and uh, i have a couple of sa cd and this is the most surprising cd this is the uh, someone passed it to me uh, it's from a church and when someone passed it to me that was many many years ago i didn't know about this church but so just like uh, uh, i think many of you experienced this your friend passed something to you and you are too embarrassed to throw it away you just chuck it one side but until when i listen to this wow a few years later when i listen to this wow this is a, although this is a church recording uh, this is like audio file recording right the vocals are super solid all right so come back to the sound um so for me i like this kind of uh, oldies and you know that at the time one thing weird about the oldies is the bass right um they don't have the drum bass they use the, the guitar bass and the double bass and for this cap R3 Meta, um, I was using, of course, I was using this uh, Denon PMA A110. And the A110, you can use the source direct, which means you pass, bypass the tone control. Or you can use the analog mode, which means the tone control is still working, but you bypass all the digital circuitry, right? So using the source direct, bypassing all the tone control. And for the first time in my life, I have uh, saw many many reviews of the speaker, right? Uh, not, uh, not not this R3 Meta, but many many reviews about speakers. Then you have a reviewer telling you that oh, the sound is so incredible that they have goosebumps. I never believed them. I thought this is just uh, because they are very good in their words, right? They are American, <laughs> they are English speaking, right? 
but today, only today for the first time, I've been listening, playing with Hi-Fi for uh, I'm 50 year old, so I started with uh, about, I was 22 because I got my first paycheck, right? Uh, 22 until now. I never had experience of, of having goosebumps and my hair was stand. Today, when I was listening to that um, 1950s recording, right? I tell you, for the first time in my life, first time ever, not even going to the live concert, the live performance, but with this pair of speakers, I have goosebumps. And considering the recording was done in the 50s, right? They don't have high res, they don't have digital recording, it's all analog. And this CD was transferred from the vinyl, right? Okay, as you can imagine. And from the information I gathered about how they make this CD is uh, someone, some chat in their old apartment, use some computer, right? Just transfer from a USB vinyl record uh, player into a computer and then they do some uh, simple EQ right they kind of, they kind of thing are uh, mastering oh, even with this kind of CD like right? wow the song was incredible later I'll show you a bit uh, I will let you hear a bit of sound clip right Usually I don't like to listen to music loud, right? Uh, just enough for me. But um, for this Kev Arvin Mela, you know what they say, you know, sometimes, you know, you, do you, I mean, I think, I, mean, I believe every one of you uh, look at, uh, view Steve Gutenberg's uh, review, right? He said that uh, when the, the speaker is really good, then you have toe tapping, right? This is not just toe tapping. It, it caused me to increase the volume more and more because you just, when it's so good, right? You want it more and more, right? So, uh, if it's if a good things, right? Yeah, um, uh, let's say food, good food. They say that uh, quality is more than more, more important than quantity. But if you have quality, why not quantity, right? So this is I, on and louder and louder, right? Um, I I think today my neighbors are not around today. Sunday, right? Uh, so this is the and it doesn't hurt my ear, okay. Um, okay, the volume is, uh, I'll let you hear a little a sample, right? So, today the volume was this. Uh, this is uh, 9 o'clock, so about 10 o'clock, listen to 10 o'clock. And there's a lot of percussion. Um, and during the time, they don't record their, uh, during the recording session, right? It's not, right? In, they have uh, each uh, musician in the individual uh, soundproof room, so that when one someone screw up, right, they can just go back and record the person's uh, part, let's say the guitar or the drum. But for last time, they just have a big room and then the singer and the band will sing together and play together. And if one of them screw up, they have to start everything over again, right? So this is the, the kind of recording that you can really uh, hear the different positioning of the, the uh, musician. <laughs> this is the sound is just so deep, right? Now talk about the, the width of the sound stage. Um, again, I need to compare to this uh, Sony surround system. When listening to this Sony surround system, because you have two real speaker and net operating speaker, um, just now I'm watching the Amazon Prime, the I think the way of time or something. I think it's the extension of the law of the ring. So you you hear sound from the left and right from the rear, right? Okay, from the side. Because this only they say they can recreate, I think, 7 or 11 channel, and it does it very well. And then I was a bit, I think, I was a bit curious, so I have this crazy idea that I watched the same show with just the calf using this M. That means it's just a two channel using the optical uh, cable from the TV to the, to this uh, Dana M. Just two channel, and guess what? I make sure I mute. And I mean, I uh, mute this uh, Sony system, and I still hear as though I hear sound from the left and the right of the rear. I, although I've already muted, muted it, right, and then I still have to look to the side. I, I just, 
need to confirm the sound not coming from the side. No, this is how. It's not just white. It's a. It's a sound stage, right? It's a sound feel. I won't even call it sound stage. It's a sound feel, right? It make my house bigger. <laughs> my this tiny little living room bigger. This is how good the sound feel is for this RP better. All right. Now let me talk about the bass. The bass is a bit uh, difficult to explain. Sometimes I feel that the bass is really, really insufficient. But when you turn the volume to nine o'clock or a little bit nine point five between nine and ten, then the bass starts kicking. So this speaker um, more suitable to listen at a higher, little bit higher volume than the normal, uh, and that's when the bass because. I heard so many review about this. They say that, wow, oh, the bass is almost it's like floor standing speaker, right? But when the first time I bought it, um, that was about maybe a three and a half week or a month ago. Very disappointed with this speaker. Um, so I let it burn in, and I don't want to listen to it because I feel so sad. That I spent three thousand five hundred, uh, three thousand two hundred dollar, three thousand two hundred and twenty eight dollars on on some potatoes, right? So let's play, I just uh, go inside my room and work on my computer. <laughs> then I uh, bought new cables. Uh, um, okay. Uh, this is the new cable. <coughs> I hope you can see it. This is the uh, silver coated by wire cable. And together I let them burn it. Um, if you are someone who don't believe in burning, then uh, don't believe, right? I don't want you to develop some kind of uh, emotional stress or emotional wounds just because someone believes in something you don't believe in and we benefit it and you, you, you're still <laughs> struggling with that. So for this figure, it helps, right? The, the burning process helps. I have about, I targeted 200, but I think I have only about 180, 170 hours. Because I went to Thailand for a week, right, last week. Uh, and I'm not at home, I try to switch off I, I have all the power supply for safety sake. So, um, the base really is there. And yes, it's true that it is like frost standing base. Like frost standing base. It's not exactly frost standing base. When you turn the volume up a little bit, 9 o'clock, right? 9 o'clock, not lesser than 9 o'clock. And then uh, the base is such that it's not just the quality, the quantity is there, but the quality, let me explain to you. The same thing about this, uh, the 1950s recording. At the time, they don't have the, they don't have the kick drum bass, right? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't hear it, but the double bass and the bass guitar, you don't just hear the double bass. You hear the finger, the friction of the finger and the string on the double bass, the wire or the string, whatever, the metal wire. You can hear the rubbing. And then when I listen to a very good recording, uh, hi. Then I listen to this recording. This is a very high quality CD. I, I think it's uh, produced in Taiwan or something, right? Okay, this CD. Um, this is something like an audio file, but not so exaggerated like those audio file CD where they actually uh, push the vocal, right? Purposely EQ the vocal until it's like, yeah, very audio file. This is not, but I've, I have this CD for a long time and therefore I have played this through many systems. The previously was the Maras, then um, the Roxanne K3, you can look at the review. And through many speakers, uh, the quad LCD speaker, the frost ending, and then the night, uh, the castle night four. Uh, of course, the LS uh, fifty meta. This one, I never heard the real quality until today, until when I had this speaker. Um, I told you about the bar, the double bass because this is like a jazz Chinese jazz CD, right? Okay, see, Curry? Right. See? See? Right. Chinese, uh, Chinese jazz CD. And I hear the voice um, 
the singer, the age of the singer, I think during the recording, maybe she was like 60. Mom, when I hear her voice through this figure, she sounded more sexy. It's like uh, more intimate. You know the, the lips, right? Uh, you know, some people say that, oh, can you hear the breathing, breathing, breathing. Sometimes I think it's very easy. Even with this uh, Pixel Pro, you can also hear my breathing in front of me. <laughs> right? Right, right, take in the air. But for that, I can hear, you know, when you, you, you talk, when you, you they sing, when they close their mouth, open their mouth, right? So sometimes uh, inside the aircon recording studio, it's colder and drier. So, and also, maybe they wear lipsticks, right, ladies? You can hear the lips. Uh, parting each other, you know, when they come together, then they part. They kind of blah, blah, kind of sound. I mean, of course, I exaggerate, uh, exaggerate a bit, blah. Right? So, very intimate. Another strength of this speaker is the vocal. If you're someone who like warm vocal, right? Uh, this speaker you should get, okay? Now, let's go to the Twitter. This is a three-way speaker, so you have a bass woofer, you have the mid-range, and then you have the tweeter at the center, the really cute thing, right? Uh, same thing, the first time when I got this speaker, oh, I very disappointed, I don't know, I thought I was, just want to sell it away the next day. Because before this, I have the, the Triangle Bureau, Bureau Tree, Bro Tree. This is $3,228, the Bro Tree was $690 then um, they keep discounting the speaker I think you can get it for $600 or $580 oh, this is a few times the, the price but it's like this sounds like worse than, than, than my Bluetooth speaker you see the first time when I get it uh, that's how I was right so the blue tree definitely so much clearer the oh, highs are so sparkly you know sometimes ear piercing that's what I like right? that's what I like but after the burning, after the running, it's like a totally different piece. In the beginning, I thought because of this M, I thought this stupid M, what then what 110 anniversary, right? So disappointing. It's not because of the equipment, because this guy, this guy, right? Me, because the problem lies with me, right? So now I realize it, right? I'm with him, right? Um, in the first, what, so how I run in is uh, I, know, I turn the tone control on with the travel to this is about one or two o'clock and then the bass so that you can push the, the woofer and loosen it right. Now of course if let's say this is a brand new speaker, I don't suggest you turn the bass up because uh, you might give too much pressure, too much movement to the woofer, it might loosen it too much right because it's still new. But after about maybe 50 hours then I, I, I turn the, the bass up a bit. So, when I hear, listen to that, that 50s recording and then the, the one I told you that's better remastered, right? right? Wow, the sparkle is not... Okay, this thing beats the Bro, Bro 3, our Bro 3, the Triangle Bro 3. The Bro 3 has sparkles. Nice, I like it. But these guys, our friend here, it notices the sparkle. The sparkle lasts eternally. And you can hear the thing, not just the instrument, right? The percussion, the ta ta ta, right? You can hear the sound, maybe reflecting of the wall. I know, I know they have acoustic wall, but then you know there's a glass, right? Where the producer can look at them. The glass is not absorbing, right? It's a flex, it's a smooth reflecting surface. So you can hear the air around the instrument. I tell you this. I don't think it's just because of the meta material, right? They must have done a lot of improvement to this speaker, but they need to tell you it's meta because it's easier to market. Just one one word, meta, easy for you to remember. If they tell you that, oh, we did this, uh, we, 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 we changed the crossover, we modified it, then it's very hard, right? So, but I think, yes, the meta is a miracle material, but I think they did a lot of things, they, they voice it differently. So, uh, good job, right, to the engineer. And uh, now, um, if there's a caveat, that is, if you really truly want to listen 
you want the sound stage to expand, the sound stage to expand even wider, the sound field go wider, deeper, and you want it to listen at low volume yet still feel the bass, I think you should add a subwoofer. Right, and also, uh, this speaker stand is not the ones that are designed for this R3 Meta. Because the one from Kev is very expensive, the stand itself is $1,300. All in Singapore dollar, I'm talking about Singapore dollar, right? And then, I believe that will also improve the sound quality maybe. But this is just from Amazon and this is the one that's not, this this speaker stand is not from those speaker stand manufacturer, it's from a furniture manufacturer because I like the look. Okay, we have thick glass, very heavy. And I feel it with uh, uh, aquarium gravel, those small aquarium gravel instead of sand, because very hard to get sand in Singapore. And this is the IKEA uh, bamboo chopping board. I think it's a board. Yeah. Okay. So if you really want to listen to the full potential, the full full potential of this speaker, then you can factor in the subwoofer cost. Of course, we I'm not going to tell you about other subwoofer because you should use back the Kev subwoofer, right? What they suggest. Uh, uh, suggested is a uh, I think the KC sixty two or something. Um, I think that woofer is about two thousand two hundred or two thousand two thousand five hundred dollar. Let's say it's two thousand two hundred dollar. So with this uh, three thousand two hundred dollar, it's five thousand five hundred dollar with the stand and one thousand three. Right. So it's a uh, six thousand uh, eight hundred dollar. With that money, just go and buy a Kev R seven. Okay, bypass that. Kev R5, just get the R7, then it's problem solved. Solve you a lot of problems, right? So you will avoid problems like how to uh, get the correct height for this speaker, the correct speaker stand for this speaker, so that the tweeter will, will be the same height, all about the same height as your ear. And then you can forget about how to secure the speaker to the stand, and then whether to use spike on something a lot, a lot of problem, right? You can solve it with the kind of money. And for me, I think although sound quality is very important, you know, the for me the aesthetic also very important, but I think it still boils down to how much money we have and how much money you're willing to spend. If I were to go with the subwoofer and then the original speaker stand, I will not get it, just get a as I told you get a R7 and R7 will definitely produce enough bass, right? Uh, and also it looks nicer, right? And so bigger sound because it's a uh, floor standing. So uh, conclusion is it can be a mixed bag if you want the absolute best. But if you are willing to have some compromise like me, and so happen that someone who uh, very sensitive to heavy bass, because heavy bass will make me have headache. That's why I don't go to I don't enjoy my life or go to uh, some concerts, right? Yeah, and this speaker will do you very good if you are willing to accept some compromise. And also, <coughs> the look of the speaker is very nice. I think it blends very well with the uh, wall. I didn't plan the color of the wall according to the speaker, right? And also this rack. Yeah, so that will be. Um, how as a consumer, as a purchaser, feel about this speaker. And uh, I will recommend to you, definitely I'll recommend to you. Um, just said you need to really go and listen to this speaker. When I recommend, that doesn't mean that you go and buy one. What I recommend is you can really set aside some time Maybe in your place you need to travel quite a bit to the hi-fi store to listen to it, right? That's recommended to go and give it a listen, right? I, I feel I feel a bit terrified when I look at some of the comments on the speaker review video, right? They said, oh, because of you, I bought this speaker. Don't 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 listen to because we have different years, different tastes of the music, right? And also different environments, right? With different gear, uh, yeah. And uh, of course, I and then to add to it, um, I think you cannot avoid talking about the amplifier that is driving your speaker. Um, this is not very sensitive. I think it's eighty nine, 
88 or 89 dB. Um, this is a this figure, this this amplifier is a 80 watts into 8 ohms. Um, this is 4 ohms. So in 4 ohms, it's not. I think it's 120 watt, and I'm using by wire. This do not have by uh, by amp, right? But only have this side is by wire. So it's a uh, one red and one one black out to two pair two pair of uh, red and black. Yeah, and I'm very happy with the system. And um, should you want to consider buying this, you also need to factor in getting a pretty good amp, uh, I know. Uh, I think uh, you do not have to get this. Uh, this is Canon top of the line M outside of Japan. Uh, you can get something lower. That is the PMA PMA uh, nine thousand or nine hundred. That that series, right? You don't have to get the highest end, but also don't get the entry level. <coughs> Sorry, need to drink a bit more. <coughs> <coughs> so don't get the entry level because you're kind of wasting the money, right? Uh, yep, I'm not being snobbish. Uh. And also, uh, cable, you try to give it a better cable. I'm not asking you to spend $3,000 on a speaker and another $2,000 on cables. I so I use the money to buy a better speaker, right? So this speaker, that I, this is a... This bigger cable that I bought, that I bought, is actually from China. Um, the custom made, custom made. Sorry. So it's a silver coated copper, and also using the silver coated copper interconnects. I'm not using the, the optical cable because I find the optical sound a bit dull, right? Yeah. So this is my opinion about this speaker, and. If you are interested to know about the partnering equipment, uh, for example, this Denon amplifier and the Denon CD player and a net tuner, which you can't see from this screen, then uh, maybe you uh, check back on my channel. Right, I'm not asking you to, to subscribe. I don't need people to subscribe to my channel. You want you, you you want to you could and thank you, but I'm not depending on this. Right, I'm just doing this as a hobby. My main job is a real estate agent. But this is something that I enjoy, right? Uh, so, right. Uh, thank you for spending your precious time listening to me, non-stop nagging and nag nagging. But uh, I thank you that we are in this community and uh, please uh, just enjoy what you have and don't uh, don't worry about what you do not yet have. You may have it, but if you don't have it, still enjoy, right? We are already living in a very very good environment. Um, safe peaceful okay so um, you need to have peace you need to be happy if not whatever system you have you won't feel happy because you are feeling miserable inside right all right so uh god bless you and i uh, see you in the next video peace and bye